I like this question because I didn't know the answer. I now know the answer because I went and did the test and I'm going to recreate it in this video to show you how you can do this. How can you use a Google Groups email address in your forwarding from your Gmail? I'm going to show you what you need to do to make this work and then how you can do it. So first of all, let me uh, go to my, my account. I have a group called Dust Bunny Collectors. I want to forward all the email messages that come from Teddy Burris, all the email messages that come from Teddy Burris into burrisconsulting at gmail.com. I want to forward them to this Dust Bunny group. That's what I want to do. So let me show you what you need to do to be able to A, set this up, and B, get it to work. Number one, in order to set it up, I've got to go into Gmail, see all settings, I gotta go to forwarding and I've gotta add an email address. You can see the only email address I have for forwarding is Teddy Burris at Gmail. But I need to be able to forward these to the Dust Bunny group. So you need to know the email address for the Dust Bunny group and that's right here under about. Here's the email address, dustbunnycollectors at googlegroups.com. That's the email address, let me copy that. Now, here's what I have to do. I have to add a forwarding address. I have to put that in here and I have to hit next. Now it's going to want to validate that I am who I say I am so that I have so, so that uh, Google can determine someone's not trying to hijack my account. So in, uh, I fortunately I have my uh, I have my um, recovery email address, recovery phone numbers, but I also have this email address on my iPhone. So you can see it says go to the Gmail app. So I'm going to I'm going to go to the Gmail app. And in the Gmail app, it pops up, it's going to ask me two things. First, it says, is this you doing this, trying to set up a new forward? Yes, it's me. Then, in, according to this screen, it says, click on the 8, and there's an 8 I can click on, and that screen should go away. And it says, let me proceed. And add a forwarding address. A confirmation link has been sent to Google Groups. All right? Now, that may not have gotten there. Let me show you why. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to go to the group. Now, if I go to conversations, it's probably not going to show up. I'm actually pretty certain that I didn't do one step. Here's the step you've got to do. you got to go to group settings. you got to come down here where it says who can post. And by the way, post is, saying, is the same thing as sending an email into the group. Who can post? Anyone on the web. I have to hit save. Now, if I go back to the conversations, it's not, I doubt it's going to be there because I didn't have that enabled. Let me go back to Gmail and let me resend verify dust bunnies at googlegroup.com. I'm, I'm going to resend the email message. Click on that. A confirmation email has been sent to dust bunny collectors. Go to dust bunny collectors, hit refresh. Boom. There's the email message that I was looking for. By the way, I'm in Google Chrome. I'm in a profile with, with Google Groups and with the email address burrisconsulting at gmail.com. So I'm in the same uh, Chrome profile, so this will work. I need to click the link to confirm the request. Right here. Click on that. And it says, please confirm forwarding mail of Burris Consulting at Gmail to Dust Money Collectors. I'm going to hit confirm. It says, this email address may now forward mail to Dust Bunny Collectors. Boom, I got it, okay? I'm going to close this down. Let's see, I'm going to close this down. Uh, I'm, and now I'm going to go back to Gmail. And I think under Gmail, I got an email saying that I now, that this group allows Burris Consulting to automatically forward mail to that address, to Dust Bunny Collectors at Google Groups, okay? That was the really important thing to do. Now, here's the next thing you got to do. I need that email address again. I think I already got it. I'm going to hang on to that email address. I may not need it. I'm going to go to settings. See all. I'm going to go to forwarding. And look, dust bunnies is an option. Now, I don't want to forward all mail. Let me set up a forwarding scenario to show you how, to, how this works. I'm going to go to inbox. I'm going to get this email message from Teddy Burris. You can see it's from TL Burris at BurrisConsulting.com. I'm going to set up a forward. So right here, I'm going to do a, a, a filtering forward. I'm going to hit the three dots. I'm going to filter messages like this. 
Now it's messages from T.L. Burris at BurrisConsulting.com. I have to hit create filter, and here's where you do it. Forward, down arrow, dust bunny collectors. And now I can say create the filter. Now the filter is created. So now any new messages to come into Burris Consulting at Gmail that are from TL Burris at BurrisConsulting.com will should automatically go to the email, the, the, the group Dust Bunny Collectors. Now, I think there's one scenario that I've got to check, but I'm gonna do a test real quick. So let me go send an email. I'm gonna forward an email from TL Burris at TeddyBurris.com. I'm going to forward it to Burris Consulting at gmail.com. I'm going to hit forward. So I just sent that email. Let's go see. It should land in here. Remember, I have a, a filter set up. It's so all new email from TL Burris at BurrisConsulting.com should be delivered to Dust Money. So there's the email message right there. Okay forward. I don't know what to say. I think I did it twice. So there it is right there. Now, it should be in the Google group. If I hit reset or refresh, there it is. Now, what may have happened, but it didn't happen this time because I've already done it. What may have happened is it could have gone to pending. Now, if it didn't come at all, if you got it and it didn't come or you 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 the forward happened and you and Google Groups kicks back to you and says, no, you can't do it. Here's what you need to do. You need to come down here to group, group settings and you need to turn off um, moderation. I think it's under email policies. It's down here, message moderation. You need to say no moderation and you need, and you need to make sure no posting restrictions for new members and moderate and notify content for spam. You need to loosen this up. I've loosened this up pretty significantly. Now, I may, at this point, I can go back to moderate messages for non-members. And I could say new member postings are moderated, new members cannot post. I want to say are, are moderated. You want to tighten down this message moderation a little bit once you get the message. And one more thing I can't recreate for you, and that is, oops, let me save this. And that is the message may have not come into here. It may have come into pending. The very first time I did this, it showed up in pending because I had moderation turned on. If it shows up in pending, then what you have to do is you have to select the message. And there's an, there's an option over here when you select the message that says, um, uh, you can allow, allow this, I can't recreate, I apologize, but you allow new messages from this member. And once you turn that on, then once you, once you turn it on and once you accept this message, they will always show up under conversations. But again, the big variable is this. In order to add a Google group email address to forwarding in Gmail, you have to turn on who can post and make it anyone. And once you do it and you confirm and all those steps, then you can back it back down. And even with it back down, and I'll hit save, I'll go to conversations, let me do another email message to forward. I'm gonna forward this to Burris Consulting at Gmail. Send. Now, even though I removed that option in, in group settings where anyone can post, now if I come back here and look, there's that. It's 237, 240. Uh, that's the first one. Let's go see. Did the message come in? It did. There it is there. I did this twice, so there it is there. And if I come back to Dust Bunnies and I hit refresh, there it is there. Checklist. So my point is, you have to loosen up security, anyone can post. You have to save that, and then you gotta connect Dust Bunnies, uh, you connect the, the, the Google group in settings. You have to connect it under forwarding, so it's a now a valid forwarding email address. Then you gotta create the filter, 
And then once you send the first one and it comes through, you can tighten down the security and most importantly, get rid of who can post and make it just group members. It works. It's a little tedious, but I made it work. And I think if you experiment with it a little bit and follow what I share with you, you should be able to make it work for you. And by the way, once you discover you don't want to do that anymore, you need to remember you've got to uh, you know go get rid of this if you don't want this anymore. And if you don't want it, you just basically go back to settings, you go back to uh, filters, and you can remove that filter and, and delete it as well if you no longer want to use that google group for forwarding you go back to google go back to forwarding you click here and you can remove dust bunnies uh at this point and get rid of it which i'm going to do now and say okay so i basically got rid of everything that i just created i'm teddy your google workspace and gmail guy i hope this works for you